Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of What's That Vegetable? Today we are going to talk about Chinese mustard greens. So in my garden, I grow multiple varieties of mustard like the um, ruby mustard, mizuna, and mibuna mustard. But from those varieties, this has got to be my favorite overall. And that is because I use this really uh, awesome greens to make a delicious uh, side dish called the pickled mustard green. So uh, let's take a closer look at the plants and I'll talk more about it and uh, introduce you to uh, this lovely green. Okay, here is a closer look at the Chinese mustard green. And there are multiple varieties. If you look these up, you may find the leafy kind. And uh, most of the leafy ones are very similar to the Indian mustard. They just grow uh, leaves. And these are the ones that uh, are usually called the um, Gai Choi, which is another name for it. And uh, those are the ones that are usually used for pickling. And uh, you can also see them in stir fries. They're delicious in stir fries. When you stir fry them, they have less of a mustard flavor uh, but it also brings out the sweetness in the plant you can eat these raw but uh, you know they they do have the mustard flavors so usually we cook them in soups we make them in um, pickled and we also stir fry with with meat and other stuff so they're delicious you see in the center it almost ha has like a little heart which is like at the head and then the stalk is very nice and thick and very plump and that is the best part when we make pickles. The leaves are massive. They can grow very big and uh, they have a really nice thick texture. And you can see the color, they're, they're nice and yellowish green, not the darker green like these. So they do get bigger. Uh, the time for these uh, from seeds to mature uh, stage where you can pick them is usually between uh, 50 to 60 days sometimes a little less depending on where you are they do enjoy the cold the colder conditions like the cooler months so start them uh, the seeds uh, in the early spring and then grow them like that uh, as they get towards the summer uh, when it gets hotter they begin to bolt so very similar to other plants in the brassica family they are susceptible to uh, pests like cabbage loopers cabbage worms and aphids uh, usually uh, the only problem that i get growing these are aphids. Aphids usually come in the in the springtime and you can usually come outside and lift the leaves over and you can spot the winged aphids they would land on here and then they would uh, shed the wings and they'll start to multiply and that's when you get aphids but uh, if you come out here regularly and just check the leaves and take those off they're not too much of a problem and because they love the cool months you don't get too much of the butterflies come so that uh, there's usually no uh, loopers uh, in the spring but when it gets towards the summer that's when the butterfly would come and visit and then you would get the worm so come out here regularly if you uh, start to uh, see the butterflies and ch check the leaves if, you ha if there are holes you can see the holes uh, see not those holes those are too small they're usually bigger and then you flip them over you will see uh, the worms down here and just pick them off so right now the weather is still very cool and that is so unusual for texas because today is april 16th and normally by this time we'll already get hot weather but somehow we're going to get another week of cold weather which is great for these plants because they do enjoy it uh, towards the hot temperature towards the summer they will begin to bolt so you have to time these correctly uh, if you grow them in the in the heat of summer they're going to bolt and they're not going to do well because these are cool weather plants so you can grow these amazing greens in soil or hydroponic in hydroponic they would do amazingly well as you can see here they will produce enormous leaves nice and green very healthy so let me show you the root system just so you can have a sneak peek look at that so i'm growing these outside right now and we just got rain so the um the, the nutrient is a little bit diluted and also the um the reservoir level is a little bit high but that's okay because I have a solar pump 
which I will put in here uh, when the sun comes out. But anyway, I hope you give this amazing green a try in your garden. They're very easy to grow. They grow pretty fast and uh, you can use them in so many ways. You can cook them in soups. You can uh, make them into side dishes like um, pickle stuff and uh, maybe put a few pieces of the leaves in your salad. The nice and succulent texture and they do have a little spicy flavor so that is all for mustard green thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe